All right, so here's a couple like uh, regular mom and pop thrift stores. They were super good. I do leave these behind the uh, Guitar Hero stuff just because I haven't really picked up a, a lot of electronics because we're out of town. They're usually big and heavy. And we don't have that much room. But I'm telling you, I pick up some amazing stuff in this thrift store and the next thrift store. Remember, at the end of the video, I do go over everything I pick up and how much it's going to sell for. So I do look up both of these Sony cameras and they were just asking a little bit too much money to make a profit on, but definitely still good prices. Just, I couldn't really flip them. I was trying to open this box up that, as you can tell, they were asking 30 bucks for it. I ended up just scanning it. I was wondering why the box was so big. The camera is actually that big. It's a very large Sony camera, one I've never seen before, but they usually only go for about 30 to 40 bucks on eBay. That's a shame, say it. Oh yeah. Dang. Yeah. I don't think it's got much life left in it. They're nice though. I don't know man, I'm still thinking. For, they're six bucks. What do you think? I mean, just disclose it? I don't know. They're my size. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I promise. All right, as you can tell, I go over to my second set of eyes. Usually, I will buy stuff more damaged than Kayla, and Kayla's usually the, the sensible one. I end up still picking those shoes up. They are Patagonia, and I will go over at the end of the video how much I think I'm going to get for them. The ones I just picked up are Kohans, and I usually don't pick up a lot of Kohans, but I'll tell you why I picked those up at the end of the video. Also, there's something special about those that I usually always sell them pretty fast. I do come over here and look at some of the kitchenware and there is a Cuisinart right there. It is some blades, the chopper blades, but I'm pretty sure they were the riveted ones. I do actually put those into that and uh, with the riveted ones, they are recalled. So I didn't, I actually meant to look this up. This is a glass knife and for some reason or like a Pyrex knife or something, I do end up just putting that back and doing something totally different. But I really meant to actually look that up because I don't know the value and it was super cool. Now, I've actually never found these before, and I knew exactly what they were when I picked them up. And uh, they are actually kind of a big bowl, though, when it comes to weightlifting stuff. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what they go for. $3, there was a pair there, and I thought it was going to be $3 for the pair, but it was actually $3 a piece, 6 bucks, but still a lot of meat on the bone to flip them on eBay and make a profit. So me and Kayla are about ready to leave and I'm just sitting here looking up some soul comps and then they bring out a shoe cart behind me and I immediately see like three pairs of shoes that are going to be worth some decent money and I come over here and I'm like this is going to be good. Can we look at these? Yes, the... I can look at these? Yeah. Thank you. Mm, that's a winner. Some Merrells. Actually, two sets of Merrells. How the Merrells look? 
Yeah, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's see price on them. $5. Same your size. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, what do you think about them? They look pretty good, yeah. right? Mm, yeah, they're good. These are like New Balance trails. Okay. I've never seen them with the lot. It's a. Dang, look at the bottom. Yeah, I know. They're pretty nice. It's like those two. For five bucks. No heel scratch. Works for me. Alrighty. All right, now this is a really nice thrift store. It's very large. It's like just a regular thrift store, so it's not like a you know Goodwill or Salvation Army or anything like that. The worst thing about when we were up in North Carolina, almost in all of these thrift stores, I had zero service for some reason. And uh, I call it shopping blind because I can't cop anything out. I actually walked outside and tried to get service and still couldn't on some of these knives. I just didn't know enough about them to purchase them. I try to look up, and I just don't have any service in these thrift stores. What you get? Whoa. I want six fifty for it. It's pretty new. Yeah. I think it's a good deal. Right? I don't know what they All right. they look expensive. Right? For some reason they do. Because you don't get a lot of let the good times roll. I got, roll a soul? Yeah, I got nothing in here. Hmm. Here. I think this thing works. Yeah, one is zoom. So we're thinking this is an ash mm -hmm. It's only a dollar. I feel like that's a good price. Did you see the hat back there? I can't, I can't look anything up. But it looks like it's a decent hat for dollar fifty, but I still don't know. And these knives, look. Japan steel. Look, go Gators thing. Mm -hmm. Hold up. Is that like a. Yeah. Uh, huh. Where's that fabric? Nylon. No. The price is right. This one's pretty neat. Bent up. It's a spin. Nine 
All right, so this thrift store, we did pretty good so far. Uh, the thing is, is about those new balances. I can't look anything up, and I know some new balances in the 900 whatever series, I guess you would call it, can go over $100, but I don't think that was them, and I was right after we got some service. I did look those up because I remembered the number on them, and they go for about 50 to 60 bucks. You could have still made some decent money, but I left them behind. Look at that thing. That is crazy. Oh, it's sold. That is nice. All right. All right, let's go over the stuff we got. And this was a really good haul. The, everything that we picked up was just really good prices. Most of the shoes were three to five dollars. I think the most expensive shoes I picked up were the six dollar Patagonias. You know, six fifty for the LL Bean, six dollars for the collars. This was only a dollar, which we thought it was something totally different, but we did make some money. And look, this Olympus 35 millimeter, only a dollar. You can't go wrong with these prices at the thrift store. So let's go ahead and start over here. So Kohan, I usually don't pick up Kohan, but there is some Kohan actually on this table. And these are Kohan Zero Grands. They're very expensive, new uh, on the used market. As you can tell, these don't need hardly any cleaning. On the inside, it almost looks super new. And... Um, they go for about $35 to $45 plus shipping easy. The Merrill's right here. These are in a little bit rougher condition, but these are like hiking shoes. So they're going to be in a little bit rougher condition. People are going to use them hiking. The insides look decent on them. The treads look decent on them and probably about $25 bucks plus shipping. These Kohans, now the reason why I picked these up and they usually always sell for me $20 bucks plus shipping and I only pay $3 for them is because they have the Nike Air so right there now the thing about that is that it's kind of hard to uh list these because you can't list nike air and kohan together in the title because a lot of times it kicks it back because you have the word nike and kohan i guess and uh but i still list these and these really will sell i just sold a pair for about 20 dollars or 25 dollars, but i usually never sell them less than 25 bucks another pair of decent it's actually the same model just a different color here and uh, again really good looking Merrells can't go wrong with Merrells I think these were five dollars right there so that's a pretty good deal for a pair of Merrells and then another Kohan these are actually Kohan Grand Zeros and these are like penny loafers or loafers slip-ons but look at the thing that's what me and Kayla were talking about we're like we've never seen one this is pinch main classic Kohan Never seen that before. Super cool. And I did look those up. I think they go for about $25. And these right here, the Patagonia. Now, as you can tell, there is some major wear right there. And I was on the fence about picking these up. They just sell so good. Some, I'm going to throw up a sole comp that looks at $55 plus shipping. That's what it's sold for. It's a little bit darker, but it's the same shoe. Uh, these won't go that high because of that wear. There is some life left in these though. I actually wore them just to make sure that they're decent feeling. And I guarantee I probably still get $35 even with that wear. This one's not wore as much, but um, you know, six bucks was kind of expensive, but there's some decent looking shoes. Now over here, we thought this was like an ashtray. We could not figure out for the life of us what this was. I'm still not 100% sure what this is. I just think it's a, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird they put this together. I don't know what's going on. But this thing right here is a pewter X. And I sell actually a decent amount of pewter. And uh, this picked all that up for a dollar. So go ahead and just say this was a dollar because I don't think that's sellable. And uh, this goes for like 10 to $14 plus shipping. It's a little golf thing. Just put your little golf ball in there and good to go. Kayla found the, the LL Bean brand new cloth, terry cloth, robe size medium. Same exact one. There's not a lot of these that are new for sale. One sold uh, best offer like $49.99 that was new. There are no new ones left out there. I guarantee you I get 50 bucks for that plus shipping. And here are the collars. These are spin weighted collars for Olympic bars. And I've actually never found them. I've actually always looked for these too because I knew they were worth money. Uh, you would ship these like in a, in a flat rate because they are very heavy. They're about five pounds a piece. And uh, they go, I paid six bucks for them, so three dollars and three dollars. They go for about forty dollars uh, plus shipping. So 
a lot of people paint them red or something like that because that's the color back in the day they would have been. These I don't think were ever painted, so somebody could easily restore these back to red or you know paint them red and it would look really good. I'm not going to get that far into it. I'm just going to sell them as is, but I still say I'm probably going to get between 35 and 40 bucks plus shipping, no problem. So I didn't pick up electronic, a lot of electronics just because we were starting to run out of room. But overall, definitely a really good day thrifting for only two thrift stores. So right there, it's everything I bought today to be a full-time eBay reseller. And this is what I do. I basically go places, find stuff low, and then sell for market value on eBay. And I've been doing a little bit of Facebook Marketplace local pickups now, which has been pretty pretty helpful. So I want to appreciate everybody we met in North Carolina. Cody and your wife, thank you so much for saying hi. Y'all are the ones that actually told us about these places and also Catlin you also met us in a uh, grocery store and you told us again about places to go and just the kindness of people sharing information that they didn't have to because we didn't know about these we try to look some thrift stores up these, these were a little bit further away than um, than our search was so we it wasn't popping up on our phones but we definitely went there and it was well worth the the trip and it really wasn't that far for some reason i don't know why what the phones weren't picking it up but we really appreciate everybody giving out information i get a lot of comments on my youtube channel about your you're giving out too much information you're causing prices to rise you know you're giving your secrets i can't be everywhere at once they can't be everywhere at once and really sharing information is how you how we can make some decent money because Maybe they don't like golf clubs and they know I'm into golf clubs and this place has good golf clubs and maybe I know you like uh, clothing and this place has really good clothing and I don't really like to deal with a whole bunch of clothing. So definitely giving out information is not a bad thing. Sharing is caring and really there is enough to go around for everybody. I promise you that because as you saw in that one place, they brought out a, a cart full of good shoes. I bought most of those and I guarantee in 45 minutes to an hour, they're probably gonna bring out another card of good shoes. So I much appreciate everybody that's been watching. We've had a whole bunch of new subscribers come in. Thank you so much for giving this channel a chance. Also, if you're not subscribed and you do like the content, if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out. Give me a comment, that helps the video out and also like it, it also helps the video. I much appreciate everybody that's been watching. You know I will always get you on the next one. And now let's go hike around a little lake. Shame it's not clear because I'm guessing there's like a mountain right there. There's ducks. There's ducks. What are they doing? What you guys eating? They say goodbye.